हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू कामत एस्ट्रोलॉजी एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्पीक अबाउट द फेस्टिवल ऑफ नवरात्रि व्हिच इज गोइंग टू स्टार्ट ऑन 26 सितंबर 2022 नाउ द फेस्टिवल ऑफ नवरात्रि रिफर्स टू द नाइन नाइट्स डेडिकेटेड टू द वर्शिप ऑफ द गॉडेस हु इज नोन एज शक्ति और एनर्जी व्हिच sustains this universe now before we delve into the nine forms of the goddess let us first understand the significance of the number 9 we know that there are nine planets in vedic astrology the number 9 is a very divine number you multiply the number 9 by any number the sum of digits of that number will always be 9 let us say you multiply 9 by 5 you get 45 4 plus 5 is 9 9 multiplied by 8 you get 72 7 plus 2 is 9 so whatever you do with the number 9 whenever you multiply it by anything the sum of digits of the result will always be 9 similarly we know that energy can neither be created nor destroyed it simply changes itself from one form to another so what this means is that goddess durga is this divine energy which simply takes on nine forms and protects this universe so it is the same goddess who helps brahma in creation who helps vishnu in sustaining the universe and who helps shiva in dissolving the universe at the end of its logical time now take a close look at this picture and you can see the goddess has different forms so in this picture you can see that goddess durga or goddess parvati takes on nine forms okay and these nine forms are venerated during the festival of navratri which is nothing but nine days dedicated to the worship of goddess parvati or goddess durga now the most common misconception is that navratri occurs only once in a year that is not true there are different types of navratris there is this paush navratri there is a navratri during the month of ashad there is chaitra navratri okay and the navratri which comes now in the months of october and november is also known as sharda navratri and this navratri is considered very auspicious similar to the chaitra navratri which comes in the month of april now why is sharda navratri considered very auspicious because following the navratri there is a 10th day called as dashera which is used to celebrate the victory of lord ram over ravan okay or the victory of righteousness over injustice and therefore it is believed that worshiping the goddess during this period invites her divine grace and blessings now let us understand the meaning of the word durga durg means a fort okay and durga means one who is guarding the fort so this fort is nothing but the universe and the guardian of this universe is goddess durga it is goddess durga whose energy holds the nine planets in place it is goddess durga's energy with which lord shiva is able to function when she manifests herself in the form of lakshmi she helps vishnu in sustaining the universe and when she manifests herself as saraswati she helps brahma in creating the universe and when she manifests herself as mahakali she helps shiva in dissolving the universe so now we will look at the nine forms of goddess durga which are worshiped during navratri now the first form of goddess parvati or goddess durga is known as shailaputri so we all know that goddess parvati was born to the mountain himalayas okay she was born to a king called himavan and his wife maina devi and therefore she is known as shailaputri shail means rock or mountain 
okay and putri means daughter so in her first form wherein she was born as the daughter of himavan and maina she is worshiped as shailaputri so the first day of navratri is dedicated to the worship of goddess parvati or durga in the form of shailaputri or the daughter of the himalayas now since her childhood shailaputri wanted to make lord shiva as her husband and in order to get shiva as her husband she underwent intense austerities or tapasya she did severe penance to obtain lord shiva as her husband and in this form she sacrificed all her material desires and therefore she is known as brahmacharini that is one who maintains the vrat of brahmacharya who does intense tapasya to attain an objective and the objective of the goddess was to attain lord shiva as her husband so on the second day of navratri she is worshiped as brahmacharini or the goddess who did intense penance to obtain shiva as her husband now after doing the penance the goddess gets married to shiva and she adorns the moon on her forehead just like shiva has the moon on her forehead and this third form of goddess parvati is known as chandraghanta it symbolizes a woman who is married so this is the third stage in a woman's life first she is born to a set of parents who love her who give her maximum love in the second stage she does penance to obtain what she wants and she gets shiva as her husband like parvati got shiva as her husband and in the third state she gets married to the person of her choice on the fourth day of navratri the goddess is worshiped as kushmanda it is said that kushmanda is the one from whom the universe was created while she was laughing okay so this is the stage where the goddess has got married to lord shiva and represents the union of shiva and shakti resulting in the creation of this universe and therefore the fourth form of the goddess that is goddess kushmanda represents the power of creation that is the creation of the universe through the unification of shiva and shakti the fifth stage of womanhood is where a woman bears a child okay and in this form the goddess is known as skanda mata skand is the son of shiva and parvati skand is also known as kumar kartikeya okay and in this form she is worshiped as skanda mata or the mother of kartikeya or skanda so kartikeya is the son of shiva and parvati on the 6th day of navratri the goddess is worshiped in a form known as katyayani long time ago there was a rishi called katyayan who prayed to the divine goddess and asked her to be born as his child and the goddess gave him a boon that she would be born to him as his child and this child was none other than devi katyayani that is goddess parvati took the form of devi katyayani and was born to rishi katyayan and in this form the goddess destroyed many demons so this is the sixth stage of womanhood wherein after getting married after bearing children okay there are a lot of struggles that a woman has to face and eventually she manages to overcome these struggles successfully by destroying all the demons that is all the problems that come in her life it is believed that if a woman is not getting married then she should worship goddess katyayani and this form of the goddess is said to give one the bliss of marriage on the 7th day of navratri the goddess is worshiped as maha gauri maha means great and gauri means the fair goddess okay so in this form she is worshiped as the divine consort of lord shiva 
ऑन द एट्थ डे ऑफ नवरात्री द गॉडेस इज वर्शिप टैस काल रात्री ओके दैट इज इट इज अ फॉर्म ऑफ महाकाली ओके एंड रिप्रेजेंट्स डिजोल्यूशन नाइट रिप्रेजेंट्स डिजोल्यूशन ऑफ द डे ओके सो वॉट एवर वॉज क्रिएटेड दैट अल्टिमेटली हैज टू डिजोल्व एंड काल रात्री रिप्रेजेंट्स द डिजोल्यूशन ऑफ द यूनिवर्स ऑन द नाइन्थ डे of navratri the goddess is worshiped as siddhi dhatri that is the one who gives all divine siddhis who grants all kinds of boons and in this form the goddess is even said to be worshiped by shiva because this goddess again helps you to create the universe she gives you all kinds of powers all kinds of siddhis and therefore she is known as siddhi dhatri thus navratri represents the nine nights dedicated to the nine forms of goddess durga or parvati and the 10th day following navratri is known as dashera which is used to represent the victory of good over evil that is the victory of lord ram over the demon ravan okay and on this day an effigy of the demon ravan is burnt throughout countries such as india sri lanka etc depicting the victory of good over bad things it means that ultimately the good one wins and the bad one gets defeated it is believed that by worshiping the goddess in her nine forms on the nine days of navratri one attains great knowledge and moves a step further towards liberation from the cycle of birth and death so this is the significance of the festival of navratri so friends thanks a lot this was the significance of navratri if you like this video do mark it as liked on youtube if you have not subscribed to my channel kamath astrology you can do so by clicking the subscribe button For any consultations, any queries, email us at astroseva world at yahoo dot com, and we'll be glad to assist you. You can also reach us through our website astroseva dot tripod dot com. So, friends, thanks a lot. Take care. Bye. Stay safe.